Welcome to Everyday Linux User. Today we are looking at Chrome OS Flex as an alternative operating system to Windows. As you may or may not know, Windows 10 is coming to the end of its life and there are a number of alternatives that you can use which I will go through in a separate video. One of the alternatives is Google's Chrome OS Flex which enables you to turn any computer into a Chromebook. So who is Chrome OS Flex aimed at? Well, I would say it's aimed at the casual user, somebody who likes to use a computer but doesn't do anything too extravagant with it. For instance, if all you do is write the odd email, write documents, do the occasional spreadsheet, maybe listen to music, you maybe want to look at the pictures of your last summer holiday, etc., then Chrome OS Flex is for you. You certainly don't need to spend money upgrading your PC so that you can get the latest offering from Microsoft. Chrome OS Flex is easy to install and there is a link in the description for a full installation guide. It is also easy to set up. Things like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and printers work without fuss. The user interface is clean and well designed with a single panel at the bottom, but you can adjust this and place it on the left or right of the screen if it suits you to do so. You can easily change the background image and you can choose one of the many stock images or indeed one of your own from your Google Photos. So what about Linux? Well this is a Linux channel after all. But Microsoft Windows ships with Windows subsystem for Linux, which enables you to run Linux within Windows. Chrome OS Flex has a similar setup. When you open the terminal, you can set up a virtual Linux environment and set up the amount of disk space you want to allow it to use. You can install common Linux applications using the apt package manager. As you can see here, I am installing the gedit text editor. All the applications you install will appear in the menu system alongside the Chrome OS apps. It isn't 100% perfect however. For instance, if you try and install Synaptic, then you will struggle to get it working. And as you can see here, Caden Live doesn't render properly. There are plenty of free online video editors which may be more suitable. I installed the GNOME software manager for installing software and it does work to a point. You can install apps but you can't get into the repositories. It won't let you select the link. Now eagle eyed viewers might have spotted the Steam icon. This was installed not via apt but via Flatpak. Yes you can set up and install Flatpaks and this enables you to install Steam. This will require you to enter terminal commands, which will be in the description. If you get stuck with anything, then Chrome OS comes with Gemini built in, which is Google's AI offering. And you can ask it just about anything, such as give me some hints and tips for Chrome OS Flex, or how do I install flat packs using Chrome OS Flex. Chrome OS itself comes with a decent set of its own apps and you don't need to use the terminal at all. There are online apps for just about anything nowadays. As you can see here, I have launched YouTube from the menu. And if you want to create documents, spreadsheets, presentations, etc, you can use Google Docs. And in my opinion, for the casual user, it provides everything you need. When you first boot into Chrome OS Flex, you will see the screen, which serves as a welcome screen. 
If you need to pull it up at any time, then it's called Explore. If you want to listen to music, then you can use the terminal to install something like Rhythmbox, or you can use the pre-installed Spotify app, which is essentially takes you to the web version of Spotify, but it works the same as a desktop app. If you like a bit of casual gaming, then there are obviously loads of online sites that will enable you to play online games. And there is a built-in app that provides online retro games with Pac-Man, Super Mario, etc. Chrome OS Flex includes the ability to run multiple desks and you can see here you can run for instance the file manager on one and the calendar app on another. So to summarise, if you are a casual computer user and you want a modern operating system but you don't want to upgrade your computer then Chrome OS Flex is well worth checking out. Whilst there is the option to run Linux apps, there is certainly no requirement to do so, and you can keep your hands clean if you so wish. Chrome OS Flex isn't Windows and it isn't Linux, but it could be the option for you. Thank you for watching.